All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. So in this video, we're going to count down to the top five worst cases of Palumboism. So before we get started, we've got to address the topic of what is Palumboism. So Palumboism is a condition primarily amongst bodybuilders, and it's named after a bodybuilder by the name of Dave Palumbo because he was really one of the first and the worst cases of Palumboism. Now, Palumboism refers to a large, protruding, and disproportional gut, which also makes the limbs and extremities look small. So potential causes of palumboism are G8s and insulin abuse, growth of the, inter of the internal organs caused by the use of G8s, a uh, disease called ascites, which causes fluid retention and protrusion of the gut, and this is caused by liver damage and liver disease, which can be caused by abuse of oral steroids. And this is one of the more popular causes associated with palumboism. So also we have ex excessive growth of the abdominal wall caused by G8s, Digestive slowing, which is caused by carb loading incorrectly, so incorrect contest prep can cause this. And this is why a lot of bodybuilders are able to correct their palumboism um, because it was caused by carb loading incorrectly, and they can correct that for the next competition. And also trying to get too big too quickly. You're going to see that with a lot of these guys. So number five, we have Marcus Rule. Now Marcus Rule's case wasn't that bad, and that's why he's in number five because overall he was just a massive bodybuilder in general. Um, so his height was five foot ten. His weight was 310 pounds in the offseason or 140 kilograms, and his contest weight was between 271 and 280, which is the equivalent of 123 to 127 kilograms. His best win was a 2002 Night of Champions, and his waist size was 38 inches, which is a pretty large waist. But again, this guy was just a massive bodybuilder overall, so the size of his arms and the size of his legs actually didn't make his gut look as bad as some of these other guys that you're going to see in this video that had smaller arms and smaller legs. So number four, we have King Kamali. Now, King Kamali's case was a little bit worse than uh, we saw with Marcus Rule. Now, King Kamali was five foot ten. His contest weight was between two twenty five and two fifty five, um, and he was one hundred and two to one hundred and fifteen kilograms in contest season. His off season weight was three hundred and ten pounds or one hundred and forty kilograms. And his best win was the 1999 NPC Nationals heavyweight division. So again, another guy that was 300 plus pounds in the offseason. So let's keep that in mind. This is, this is a common theme that you're going to see with a lot of these guys is the fact that they maintained over 300 pounds in the offseason. So in number three, we have Greg Kovacs. Now Greg Kovacs is probably one of the most famous of these bodybuilders. He was six foot four. His contest weight was 330 pounds, uh, which is the equivalent of 149.6 kilograms. His off-season weight was 420 pounds. He's also the first bodybuilder to ever hit 420 pounds, period, which is the equivalent of 190.5 kilograms. His best win was the 1996 Canadian National Champions Championships, and his death was in 2013. Um, so this guy, again, over 300 pounds, significantly over 300 pounds in the offseason. So again, a common theme with these guys is the fact that they're 300 plus in the offseason. So number two, we have Big Lenny. Now, a lot of people want to call Palumboism Lennyism, and that's because a lot of people think Lenny is worse than Dave Palumbo, which may be true, um, but we have Lenny in number two. He's six foot four. 340 pounds in the off season, which is the equivalent of 154.2 kilograms. His contest weight is approximately 300 pounds, which is the equivalent of 136 kilograms. And his best win, possibly the Ruby. He doesn't really have a competition history listed. And he is most famous for his association with the Delray Misfits YouTube channel and Jason Genova. Um, so a lot of people want to call this Lennyism, but I'm going to stick with calling it Palumboism because Palumbo was the first guy to really put Palumboism on the map. And that is why when we get to number one, we are going to have Dave Palumbo in that number one slot. So Dave Palumbo was five foot nine. His contest weight was 270 pounds, which is the equivalent of 120 kilograms. His off-season weight was 310 pounds, which is the equivalent of 140.6 kilograms. And his best win was the 1995 NPC Junior Nationals, where he placed first in the heavyweight division. And it's also important to note that Dave Palumbo never did turn pro. So again, the condition is named after Dave Palumbo because he can, he was really the first case of it that was really noticed. Um, so we're going to put him in number one because the condition is actually named after this guy. So, so fittingly, he's going to be number one. So please give the video a thumbs up, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment in the comment section below what your speculation is as to the cause of this disease. Please give the video a thumbs up. Like I said before, Nick Strength and Power, signing out.